All right, good afternoon and welcome to Monument Vista's flower class. Boy, are we in for a special treat today. As I mentioned in my email, we have a guest florist. I want to introduce Miss Mindy from Prim Primrose and Petals. And uh, Miss Mindy is, does beautiful weddings and, and I think she's the second best florist around. Well, actually she is the best. She's, and uh, she's, uh, I can't say she's kind of family because up to the right, you may hear some noise from my two grandchildren. Mindy's married to my youngest son and she's a beautiful florist and does wonderful work. And she said, let's do a flower project. So we're gonna put together the beautiful uh, water can and Mindy was the one who did the mock-up and said, these are the flowers that you need. So Mindy, we, let's get started. Uh, hopefully, right, they, they should have soaked their oasis. How long do you soak your oasis for? Um, I like to soak it overnight, but uh, it's, at least an hour, I think, just to make sure it's, it's wet. Right. So why don't we grab the two oasis. Now, if you have, if, if, if you have the half block of oasis, so you have the whole block, or the, make sure you we want these to fit snug in there. So we're gonna put them this way and, and they're gonna go all the way down to the bottom, the whole block, because you don't wanna press it down, right? But we're not, as you know, as a florist, if the oasis is loose, when you try to transport it, what happens? It gets really messy. Messy, it falls, yes. falls over. Yeah, I like her, her terminology, messy. All right, oh, and look who else we got helping us. That's, <laughs> Are you going to operate the scissors a little, Miss Abby? She's our helper today. She's our helper in here. So as <laughs> you know, she's used to being around squirrels. Yeah. <laughs> so Miss Mindy, why don't you go ahead and show us how we're going to green that container up with our lemon leaf? So I like to just cut, break these down a little bit into a couple smaller pieces. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we also. Okay. Get, just like that, just to make them small. They're basically just going to be the base. And me. So we'll, we'll go ahead and stick them in. And I just like to go low, so it covers the oasis and it covers the bottom. Nice helper. This is not her first time. <laughs> See? Perfect. Perfect. See, it runs in the family. <laughs> Train them young, that's what I say, yeah. train them young. <laughs> and then we'll go ahead and do this last one here. And so I just like to cover, if you need to cut it back even more, you can, just to make sure that the base is kind of covered and, and filled up. What's nice about lemon leaf, it's, it's really long lasting. In fact, some of this lemon leaf uh, we've had for some, some time. Oh, baby accident, but we'll correct that. Make sure the base is covered. See? Perfect. All right. Just and, like that. and what flower would you like to start with? Um, I usually like to start with the bigger floral and go smaller. Okay. So I think I'm going to start here with the, with the carnations. And that one broke, which is okay. I'll just give it a good trim. Go ahead and go in. If you need to open up the carnations, you can do that. Uh, if they're a little tight, some of them are a little, little tight. And I'll go ahead and give this one another cut. bigger flower and go smaller because you kind of fill up the, the big space and then you can work your way down to the smaller space. So just like that. Just filling it up. Like Alright. And I always use odd numbers. Is that a number you typically use too? Yes. Um, na yeah, nature's not even. All right, what would you like next? The, the um, moms or the stock? I'm going to do the, the stock, and we'll fill that in. Perfect. And really just have fun with it. This one's exactly method. 
I tell all my girls that work with me, don't overthink it. Because sometimes as a florist, you can you can overthink it. And it's just really fun. I'm just filling it in. Those are some sharp scissors, scissors little kiddo. Just filling, filling up the space, making sure there's no big holes. And then you see how there, there's little pockets of holes? I just work my way. So my, I would pick up my next floral, add it in, and then, and then at the very end, you can go through with the baby's breath and fill up any last minute holes that you find. And these, these you really can break down into some smaller pieces. What's fun about this arrangement is, is the colors. I mean, everybody, all of you took different colors and it just, it's a fun spring project, don't you think? Mm -hmm. See, the teacher in me is worrying about the, the littles and the, and, and the scissors. Mom says, I'll go ahead and stab yourself. <laughs> no, but she's a good kid. <laughs> a little bit of holes here. Okay. So it filled up pretty good. I do see a, little, a few little holes. So we'll just take the remaining baby's breath and fill them in. I'll take it. Yeah, put your... Yeah. So right here Mom's, I see Mom's a little... Mom's going to have a healthy I'm used to having a look at how they make arrangements. Say hi to everybody in, in Haiti land. Do you see the, the smell? Is that what your breath smells like? Is that baby's breath? Is that baby's breath, huh? Yeah. And then I just go through and any holes I see. And you can, you can cut this back or, and have it a little tighter or you can have it a little looser. Or you can eat it. <laughs> So I always ask my, you know, we charge $10 as a little donation, basically to the cost of the flower. As, as a florist, with something like this, if, if you were doing it for a, a centerpiece or whatnot, probably $40, $50, I would guess. Yeah. yeah. Especially if you were, yeah, order it from, a, from your local flower shop. Yeah. It's, it's a full size bowl. And then I just add your little butterfly. And there you go. What? All right, let's give Miss Mindy a big round of applause. Yay. Also, I didn't give a shout out earlier to Miss Paula, our right hand person. Hi, everybody. Been up, hi, everybody. And Savannah for helping us pass flowers out. Thank you. And to the camera crew and everybody else, uh, make sure you post your pictures to on, on Parents of Monta Vista or Instagram, right? You like the pictures on Instagram? And hashtag MVP Flowers. Next class will be uh, in April. I haven't quite decided yet, and then our, and that might be a hybrid. We might go to do some more first. So before, I think you babies are ready for a nap, and so is your grandpa. So is grandpa. You ready for a nap? And with that, all right. We'll see you guys later. Okay. Bye guys. Bye.